Welcome to the introduction presentation of Inyang Probe. Inyang Probe is a core technology we're developing at QuantiX. QuantiX is a molecular diagnostic innovator based at San Jose, California, at the heart of the Bay Area biotech industry. At QuantiX, we specialize in the development of cutting-edge technologies to provide best available diagnostic or prognostic information for cancer, infection, and other diseases. Since the company's founding in 2012, our innovative products have delivered personalized medicine to clinical and research laboratories worldwide. Inyang probe was described in the patent specific double-stranded probes for homogeneous detection of nucleic acid and their application methods. By now, Inyang probe has been granted patents in Australia, China, European countries, Japan, and in US. Inyang probe is comprised of two strands of complementary DNA. It is therefore a double-stranded DNA probe. One strand or the positive strand is longer than the negative strand. The two strands bind with each other to form a blunt end and a tailed end. Fluorophore and quencher are located at the blunt end. The positive strand is labeled with a fluorophore and the negative strand is labeled with a quencher. The key function of the double-stranded Inyang probe is to detect single-stranded DNA target. Here, we illustrate the working principle of Inyang probe in a displacement hybridization reaction. Again, the positive strand is labeled with a fluorophore, and the negative strand is labeled with a quencher. In the absence of targets, the positive strand and the negative strand bind with each other. Upon excitation, the presence of a quencher prohibits the emission of fluorescence from the fluorophore. In the presence of a complementary target, the hybridization of the positive strand and the target becomes more favorable because they share longer complementary sequence. The negative strand will then be displaced by the target DNA and released. Upon excitation, now without a quencher in close proximity, the fluorophore on the positive strand becomes fluorescent. The occurrence of displacement hybridization can therefore indicate the presence of the target DNA. Yiyang probe has many advantages over other hybridization probes. It is comprised of double-stranded DNA, and is therefore a kind of structure-restricted probes, meaning higher specificity. Other structure-restricted probes, such as molecular beacon, require special structural modifications, which complicates the probe design, synthesis, and purification, and increase the cost. On the contrary, the design of Inyang probe is relatively simple with a single dye labeling for each strand. Its synthesis and the purification is also more cost effective. Like other probe systems, Inyang probe can be multiplexed using different dye labeling, providing great flexibility for simultaneous detection of multiple targets in one reaction. In the following slides, we will show you in actual experiments the superior performance of Inyang probe in displacement hybridization reactions. In the experiment shown on this slide, Inyang probe was incubated with either a perfectly matched target DNA or other DNAs that are identical except for one nucleotide mismatch. The reaction kinetics of Inyang probe with the perfectly matched target are shown as open circles, while the ones with the single nucleotide mismatched targets are shown as either filled circles, open triangles, or filled triangles. The displacement hybridization reaction between Inyang probe and its matched target DNA took place within one minute following the start of the incubation 
as shown by a sharp increase in the emitted fluorescence, indicating a very fast reaction rate. It's also clear that only the reaction with complementary target shown in open circles generated significant fluorescence, meaning that displacement hybridization occurred specifically between in-yang probe and the perfectly matched target DNA, but not with any of the single nucleotide mismatch targets. This strongly supports the ability of in-yang probe to distinguish targets at single nucleotide resolution. Besides fast and specific, in-yang probe is also a very flexible probe system with a wide detection temperature window. As shown in the denaturation curves, in-yang probe showed clear discrimination between its perfectly matched targets and single nucleotide mismatch targets at a temperature range from close to room temperature to as high as 60 degree. Comparing to single-stranded probe, in-yang probe exhibits enhanced specificity. The additional negative strand makes the duplex of in-yang probe more stable. In addition, when the negative strand dissociates, it also functions as a competitor, which further adds to the specificity-enhancing feature of in-yang probe. To directly compare in-yang probe and linear probe, we made some changes to the labeling strategy. The positive strand of in-yang probe is labeled with fluorophore, as usual. The negative strand, however, is not labeled with any quencher. In the absence of target DNA, in-yang probe maintains double-stranded conformation and is fluorescent. In the presence of a perfect match target, the negative strand will be displaced by the target DNA. Because the target DNA is now labeled with a quencher, this displacement will result in a decrease in fluorescence. The linear probe is designed to be exactly the same as the positive strand of in-yang probe with a fluorophore at 5' end. Binding of the linear probe with the quencher labeled target DNA should also result in a reduction in fluorescence. When both in-yang probe and the linear probe were compared under the same experimental condition, in-yang probe was able to easily discriminate targets with a single nucleotide difference. Perfectly matched targets displaced the negative strand of in-yang probe, resulting in a dramatic reduction in fluorescence as shown by the dashed line. While single nucleotide mismatch targets only caused a mild decrease in fluorescence as shown by the dot dashed line. In contrast, when using linear probe, Displacement reactions completed quickly with little difference between the perfect match target and the single nucleotide mismatch target. Both resulted in a dramatic decrease in fluorescence, suggesting that the linear probe is not able to distinguish one nucleotide difference on the target. Like other probes, in-yang probe can also be easily multiplexed in this experiment, four in-yang probes labeled with different fluorophores were designed to be complementary to each of the four targets, which only differ from each other by a single nucleotide. As you can see, in each of the four reactions, a marked increase in fluorescence was only observed for the probe whose sequence perfectly matched the sequence of the target DNA. The color of the resulting fluorescence indicated the identity of the target. This strongly supports the use of in-yang probe color multiplexing for simultaneous detection of multiple alleles with as little as one nucleotide difference. This experiment also confirmed that double-stranded in-yang probes are extremely stable in duplex and coexistence of different probes do not cause any interference among them. We have developed a powerful labeling strategy for in-yang probe. We call it Multicolor Combinational Probe Coding System, or MCPC. 
In principle, the combination rule allows n types of floor forms to label two to the n minus one different probes. As illustrated in this graph, when n equals to four, each of the four floor forms can label four different probes. Any combination of two of the four floor forms can label six probes. Any combination of three can label four probes. All four fluorophores together can label one additional probe. Altogether, with four fluorophores, one can easily design probes for simultaneous detection of up to 15 different targets. Here is an example of color multiplexing using four fluorophores, FAM, HEX, ROX, and sci -fi. Using the multicolor combinational probe coding system, or MCPC, we are able to distinguish 15 different targets by using various combinations of the four fluorophores, including single labeling, double labeling, triple labeling, and quadruple labeling. Theoretically, with more available fluorophores, the number of different targets that can be distinguished can grow exponentially. So far, we have talked about many of the unique features of Inyang probe, including fast reaction, high specificity, flexible detection temperature, and easy color multiplexing. Because of these exceptional qualities, Inyang probe has the potential to replace conventional probes in a variety of biological applications, such as real-time quantitative PCR, digital PCR, microarray, fluorescence in situ hybridization, imaging, next-generation sequencing, antisense oligos, or as primers. Let's first look at the application of Inyang probe in a real-time quantitative PCR assay for detecting human beta globin gene. At the beginning of each cycle, target DNA, primers, and probes were all denatured. At the leaning stage, in the presence of target DNA, the dissociated positive strand of Inyang probe would bind to target DNA. At the extension stage, Inyang probe would then dissociate from target DNA without interfering with chain extension. By measuring fluorescence intensity during the annealing stage of every cycle, PCR amplification can be followed in real time. The graph on the right shows the amplification curves of five serially diluted samples, which resemble typical real-time PCR amplification curves obtained using conventional probes such as Tagman or Cybergreen. There is also a great flexibility for the length of Inyang probe. For the same experiment, we tested 11 different Inyang probes of various lengths and found that all the probes worked equally well. Inyang probe can also be applied in real-time PCR genotyping by multiplexing Inyang probes labeled with different fluorophores. White type and mutant alleles can be simultaneously detected. As illustrated in the graph, the pair specific for the white type allele is labeled with a green fluorophore fan. The one specific for the mutant allele is labeled with a red fluorophore Texas red. In the presence of white type alleles, farm labeled white type probes hybridize to the apricons and generate green fluorescence. When the mutant alleles are present, the Texas red labeled mutant probes become hybridized to the apricons and generate red fluorescence. In the case of heterozygotes, since half of the target DNAs belong to white type and the other half belong to mutant, both green and red fluorescence will be produced. Because white type and mutant alleles are present at 1 to 1 ratio in heterozygotes, their amplification curves overlap with each other and also have larger CT number and lower maximum fluorescence when compared to the amplification curves for homozygous genotype. 
as described in our publications. Inyang probe has been successfully used for real-time PCR genotyping of human hemochromatosis gene, beta globin gene, aldehyde dehydrogenase 2 gene, and others. Last but not least, Inyang probe can be modified into double-stranded Inyang primers and used directly in real-time PCR. The positive strand becomes the primer strand. One could choose to use Inyang primer as forward, reverse, or both primers. In the case illustrated on this slide, both forward and reverse primers are replaced with Inyang primers. Double-stranded Inyang primers are highly specific, thanks to the additional negative strand which functions as a competitor. As shown in parallel comparison between Inyang primer and a conventional single-stranded primer, Significant background amplification was detected in negative control with single-stranded primer, while no background fluorescence was detected with Inyang primer even after 40 cycles of amplification. The design of Inyang primer is also quite flexible. When primers of different lenses were tested, all of them give typical real-time PCR amplification curves. With all the attractive features and outstanding qualities, Inyang Probe is leading the technology innovation in the field of molecular probes. In comparison to hydrolysis-based Tecman Probe, which requires dual labeling of a single-stranded DNA, Inyang Probe is a double-stranded DNA with single dye labeling for each strand. Inyang Probe is therefore easier to design and cheaper to synthesize. Unlike the single-stranded Tagman probe, Inyang probe belongs to a kind of structure-restricted probes, and is therefore highly specific. The positive strand and negative strand form stable duplex, and only dissociate in the presence of a perfectly matched target. As demonstrated in earlier slides, Inyang probe was able to discriminate target DNAs with single nucleotide difference. Moreover, Inyang probe can be multiplexed. By applying multicolor combinational probe coding system, or MCPC, the number of targets Inyang probe can detect increase exponentially as a function of the available labeling fluorophores. This can be really useful in clinical situations where simultaneous detection of many related genes is needed for diagnostics. Lastly, Unlike Tagman probe, which requires hydrolysis cleavage of the dual-labeled probe, Inyang probe produces fluorescence via a displacement hybridization reaction, which takes place spontaneously even under room temperature. One can imagine in applications such as biosensors, biochip, or MRA tracking, when a spontaneous reaction is more desirable, Inyang probe will be favored over Tagman probe. Molecular beacon is another widely used probe. In comparison to the helping structured, dual-labeled molecular beacon, the design of Inyang probe is simple and easy, and its synthesis is way cheaper. In parallel comparison experiments, which are not shown in this presentation, Inyang probe performed better than molecular beacon in at least two aspects sharper transition in denaturation curves, meaning lower background and higher sensitivity at low temperature, and much wider discrimination window between the perfectly matched target and single nucleotide mismatch target when using Inyang probe. In this presentation, we have demonstrated many applications of Inyang probe, but as a matter of fact, we have just touched the tip of the iceberg. At QuantiX, we are continuing to push the boundary of Inyang probe technology and to develop cutting-edge innovative products. Many future fields of use are awaiting exploration, such as human genetic variant determination, microbial DNA detection for infectious disease diagnostics, 
Personalized treatment for cancer. Pathogen monitoring for food and water safety. Diagnostics of animal diseases. And biosurveillance. If you are interested in learning more about our technology, you can find many relevant publications in the following two slides. You can also go to our website at www.quantix.com to get more information about our company, products, or leave us a feedback. Thank you very much for watching. We hope by now you are as excited as we are about Inyang Pro.